Ya. Lu. Saya Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, uh, today we going to present to you regarding on the project that we have conduct in uh, ECC 3014 which is the engineering statistic uh, on the title of the evaluation of river water level accuracy from a hydraulic motor using precipitation input from corrected ERMS and rain goes during heavy rain fall. So, uh, with all of that, to introduce uh, our group members first. So my name is Siti Gary Jaguzi Rahmat and my message number 19483. Uh, my name is Nur Iza, Nur Iza Nabide. My metric number is 192040. My name is Muhammad Amir Rahawi Mahzlan. My metric number is 192455. Uh, I'm Amir Aiman Al-Hakim, Mr. Muhammad Alias, Matrix number 192527 My name is Muhammad Al-Hakim, Mr. Alias, Matrix number is 191987 So, we're going to the next part So uh, So, now we'll explain the regulation okay. uh, First, hydrology cycle involves uh, two <coughs> process which is precipitation and evaporation which are the main natural phenomena is that complement each other to bring balance to the earth and human who live on it. Precipitation is one of the most important process in the hydrologic cycle. It is a reversion process from evaporation which water vapor is evaporated to the atmosphere. Uh, if the pre pre precipitation occur to less it can cause drop, but if it occurs too many, it also can cause flooding, flooding. And the precipitation also can be in the form of water droplet, snow or hail. Uh, precipitation is a condensation process in the atmosphere where water vapor in the form of concentrated cloud collide with the cool surrounding air and causes the water vapor to lose its state from water vapor to liquid form and fall down as water droplet. Uh, so it, it is a process from it change from water vapor to liquid and it fall down to earth as rain. The water droplet is collected at the rain gauge station to measure the rainfall intensity of a particular location. Due to the purpose to construct and run the hydrological model mode simulation, the need for accurate measurement of rainfall intensity is very vital and give, can give, give impact to the model. Uh, so the objective of this research uh, as follows. First, to quantify errors in reducing uncertainties in TRMM precipitation and rainfall data input. Second is to evaluate river water level accuracy from a hydraulic model using precipitation input from corrected TRMM and rain gauge during heavy rainfall. And the last one is to develop a converter from MAC 11 simulation results to mode flow. Okay, for the method uh, methodology, uh, first uh, we collect the data from Mr. Mama Arif, uh, Mirul bin Mustafa, which is our senior, and then making a master. And then we organize data according to table of overall data for rain intensity and pixel based TRM data and TRM interpolate data. Okay, for the third step, we analyze data in the form of minimum, maximum, sum, mean, and standard deviation. And then plot and over determine whether there are any statistically significant difference between TRMM data and interpolated TRMM data. Next, we do a correlation. Correlation is construct by using a correlation coefficient, uh, using a person product moment correlation. And then, correlation coefficient is sign that refer to direction that based on cover covariance. covariance. Okay, next, regression analysis is made to predict variables by knowing other parameters. Uh, then, regression equation to describe the regression line mathematically. 
Okay, for the last one, uh, we separate the delta from the hypo hypothesis, either the H0 accepted or rejected based on the result okay. So that's why. So this is, this is the overall data of rainfall intensity and pixel based TRMM data and interpolated TRMM data. So this is the data as we can see in the slide. So the total error in 3 years is 3031.245 and 3031.465. Thanks. So in this case, that ANOVA is the main point one. 
because we want to know what is the migration and what is the correlation between uh, the both data. So the uh, the F the data compression. So that's the normal data. So yeah. So this is the coefficients, the excluded variables, coefficient correlation. Coefficient related correlation is needed in order to construct a better correlation to compare between the data. So this is as you can see. The data do we want negative set plus or minus the correlations of the pixel. So next. So this is the overall data, calling it to be diagnostic, very simple statistic. Next. So this is the graph that we constructed, the histogram uh, between your frequency and also the regression sign the dash is equal. The normal plot of regression sign the dash is equal, depending on the variable, between the expected come from them and also the that's why you just get the plot data as it's more from the software SPSS when you construct it. Okay, uh, so on this slide, we are going to look out for the comparison of the SPAS, SPSS and Excel. Okay, uh, for the definition, uh, SPSS, uh, the definition of SPSS is statistical package for social science a tool formulate for a statistical analysis of data while for the Excel is Microsoft product used for data entry and data manipulation to store some information so this is for the usage uh, SPSS is statistical calculation and manipulation of data as per IBM guidelines while for the Excel is managing and storage and storing data with formulated operation defined by Microsoft. Okay, uh, these are the benefits uh, we get from the SPSS, which is their speed and performance compared to Excel. There is a uh, have reduction in data redundancy. While for the real time usage, uh, SPSS have a usage usage of advanced and ultra fast device like supercomputer. For the Excel, uh, okay, for the Excel. Uh, the maintenance and handling of large volume of customer data uh, It means that it, uh, it can handle a huge amount of data uh, So for the next slide uh, For the academic purpose, uh, SPSS exists since from many years under the SPSS umbrella Now under IBM While for the Excel, exists and evolved with developing branch of science and technology uh, for industry purpose, uh, SPSS uh, have a data scientist analysis are the profession to become after study in this field. While for the Excel, is a uh, data scientist analysis are the profession to become after studying in this field. Okay, next slide. Uh, for the application, uh, SPSS can apply to all technical industry and large scale companies. For the Excel, uh, applies to company where large scale sensitive data is to be managed. And for the field purpose, uh, SPSS cover entire technology technological field, which is superset of data science. While for the Excel is uh, a subset of computer science where the study of data is done by using different method and technologies. Okay, next. So, uh, for the conclusion of uh, this project, uh, we, can, we can conclude that even though Microsoft Excel and SPSS has a similar look and feel with menus, spreadsheet, and built-in statistical function, but uh, SPSS uh, is a definite winner when it comes to data analysis as the software is especially designed for statistics. So, that's all from us. Uh, thank you very much.